Hi, 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 hi. Welcome to Classes Conversations. And this week, have I got a whole thing for you. I got to take off these bracelets to start with. They're the original arm candy. Um, But I got to make way, got to make way, because I promised you guys a... Uh, to show you my Pandora collection, my entire Pandora collection. And uh, so I started collecting Pandora before people knew what Pandora was. Uh, welcome to Closet Conversations. I'm Gianna. If you're new here, I'm your Closet Conversationalist. I put out videos on Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays, we do Mommy Mondays. On Fridays, we do Closet Conversations where we get lost in the closet. We talk about renovation, organization, art, luxury, fashion, history, whatever I can find in my closet. We do all a lot of fun stuff and we never know where the conversation is going to take us. If you are interested in that kind of content, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button below and you're going to want to turn on notifications by clicking that bell. That bell means that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video so that you won't miss anything and you can always, always join in on the conversation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else would like it, please share it. And all of you, you who likes it, who doesn't like it, everybody, I need all of you chit-chatting in the, in the comments down below so that we can all be having the conversation together. It's a dialogue, a community log. It's not... A monologue so um, having said that I promised you this week that I'd be showing you all of my Pandora's because my Pandora's are set up as actual bracelets I make bracelets these are from the original arm candy I make design market all of those things wholesale retail bracelets check us out we're at the www.theoriginalarmcandy.com also go into the link and you'll see it easily and um, so I do that I actually do that and because I do that before I did that and I was collecting Pandora I set up those bracelets like permanent pristine bracelets that I'd always wear except then I started wearing my own and now I hardly wear my Pandora's but um, but they still I still love them they still exist I still have them I still have them set up as bracelets and I'm gonna try to remember where I got all the charms and I'm gonna show you how the bracelets are set up hopefully this video won't be too long but that's what I'm doing. I also have a few carryovers from the last video. So if you haven't seen that yet, you're going to want to go back and look at it. Um, because I had found some things that I just want to show you how they work. Because I promised you I would do that. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm going to have to grab it. Huh. Or either I grab it or I save it for another video. But here we go. In the meantime, here's the scarf. This scarf is by Lily Pulitzer. It's really beautiful. It's like uh, just a very thin one, right? Um, it's every year, I don't know if they still do it, but like 20 years ago, aging myself again, every year for breast cancer uh, month, awareness month, which is October, um, the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, would partner with Ford, the car company, and Lily Pulitzer would design this uh, scarf. And if you bought it, all the proceeds or something like that, or a portion of the proceeds would go towards the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. And so on it, you'd see Lily's signature. Oh, and there's the breast cancer symbol as well. And I think Ford should be somewhere on it too. No, I don't see Ford on this one, so maybe not. But I'm using this to demonstrate my scarf ring because I promised to show you my scarf ring that I got from my grandma. Uh, so, so here you have your scarf, and here is the particular ring. I think I have more than one, but this one is, is definitely for my grandmother. I know this one. And so it looks like that, and you simply... Well, I think you have a number of ways that you can do it, actually. Yes, depending on how you're wanting to wear it. But we're just going to go with the one that, that's easiest, right? So it's where you would put them together. When I'm doing this, I swear. 
okay, 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 okay. So you basically just thread it through. I could probably put it through both and just make life easier. So I hope you're seeing what's happening here. Right? And literally, it's as simple as that. Right? So it's a little bejewel, a little way to, you know, be fancy schmancy if you want. You can turn it. You can do all these things, you know. Beautiful, you know, little accessory. You know what I mean? We're unbothered. We're very... We have something for everything. We don't need to bother with real life, you know? Scarves and scarf rings and, you know, we're accessorizing to the hills. Right? And that's how that one goes. And there it is. So it's just a little jewel for your scarf and it holds it together so you don't have to tie it or this and that and whatever. There are other ways that people do it. My grandmother used to show me a hundred different things. Not that I remember everything. Much to her chagrin, I'm sure, at this point. But you get the idea. So that's the first thing I was going to show you. There's one other thing I was going to show you, but mm, I'm not going to belabor it and I'm not going to lament. I'm just looking if I see any more of what could have helped me out, but I'm not seeing it right now and I'm trying to think if it's nearby. I don't think so. So let's just get into the Pandora collection. Remember, I have my guitar pick that I told you that my friend had given me years ago to help me unlock. So, if you know anything about Pandora, you know it has this lock. Let me see. Right? So, what happens is this end, right, goes into here and it snaps shut. But what happens is when you're trying to open it, you're, you got to get your finger like into there and people like me who used to do my nails all the time in fancy colors and who don't want to break your nail either because it can break your nail because it's that tight you need a way to get into it so you take your guitar pick and you stick it can you see you stick it right in there shove it in till it opens right and then turn it and there we go. So that's what I used to do. So that's the handy use of the guitar pick. Now I'm going to go through my bracelets with you as best I can. And I'm going to get really close now so that it's easier to do. So if you notice, all of my bracelets, all of them that are done, and there's a lot, right? I can actually count them out for you in case you don't believe me. Because <laughs> you might not believe me. So there's one, two, three, I'm doing them by themes, three, right? Four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the gold one, 10, right? So, as I said, I started collecting before a lot of people knew what Pandora was. Um, I went on a cruise with um, my mother, actually, um, in 2010, yes. Could have been 2009. It, no, I think it's 2010. So in 2020, 2010, I went on this cruise 
Um, it's a funny story or not. <laughs> um, my my mother was supposed to go on the cruise with my stepfather, but I think my stepfather um, got upset with her or something and decided he wasn't going to go and she wasn't going to make her money go to waste. So she invited me and I went ahead because I had never been on a cruise before and I was excited at the experience. I was excited at the opportunity to spend some time with her because we've always had a very tumultuous relationship and I wanted to, I guess, get to know her at that stage of our lives and uh, see if, you know, we had some things in common and could actually, uh, you know, work everything out. Now, um, while on the trip, we stopped in one of the Eastern Caribbean countries, I don't remember which one, and there was an actual, I don't know if it was a Pandora store or a jewelry store that sold Pandora, but this was in the earlier days. So this is when charms were, I hate talking about prices on my channel, but I will say that the charms were much, much less than they are now. I think they were in the $20 range, like $20 to $30 range for most of them. Gold was ridiculous, right? Gold was off the charts ridiculous. I think since then they've actually stopped doing gold, period. Like they do like a Pandora Shine or something like that, which is not a real gold or a solid gold. It's like a, I don't know. But um, but back then they did gold and gold was astronomical, like maybe 20 times the price of the equivalent charm in silver. And at the time they did have silver and gold of the same charm, right? So um, I think I started with, I can't remember which bracelet I started with. Um, but obviously I, acquired many bracelets over the years so um so yeah so let's let's start with this one this one has a lot of my original charms on it to begin with so sunshine because I live in a sunny place and I think it's a smiley face and it's good pink I had at the time I wanted to do a lot of pinks so pink and then we have the heart and then another pink Murano glass um this one is a money pot. I got this as a gift. Um, this is like an opal one. This is more recent than the rest. Is that under my nail? Um, this is this one I don't think was ever available in the States. I got this one in Australia. Um, this is a clip. So I use the clips to actually segment the bracelet so that the charms don't move around a lot especially because I filled up the bracelets so you'll notice I have clips at the different stations do I have it at the station too I'm not really sure yes this one is a clip isn't it no that's not a clip okay I'm trying to find out where the next clip is don't know if I have another clip but all of my bracelets have a clip on the end because um, the easiest way to lose your charms is for when you open the bracelet, the charms fall off because some of them have threading, but some of them don't. So the clip now, I put it before the threading, but it's smaller than all the others and it stops it, right? So it doesn't, they don't fall off. So every single bracelet I have has a clip on the end so that I don't lose my charms because the charms are, pretty pricey so yeah so there's the clip and then there's the bumblebee and I think the bumblebee is so 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 cute and it has a gold charm it's, I think they called it the queen bee and then there's this one oh gosh focusing or no not focusing there we go it has a heart on it um, it was a gift as well this is an octopus for the first time I ever ate octopus in Las Vegas <laughs> That was years ago and then the high heel because I was a model at the time and um, what am I saying I'm still doing modeling work you know I'm still doing modeling work but yeah I was like closer to full-time modeling I was modeling all the time and then this one was a also a breast cancer like if you bought this one um, one October you, proceeds went to I think this same Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. 
Then there's a handbag because, you know, handbags are my love. And we have the cake. It's a celebration cake. Um, my lyrics godmother actually bought me that cake um, for one of my birthdays. She asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I said that charm. And she said, I want a birthday cake charm. And this is my birthday cake. It's three cheers. Okay, okay. And then we've got green because I like pink and green. I like the combination, which is so funny because the scarf that I showed you earlier was a pink and green combination. So this bracelet would have gone perfectly with it. And I think I did that in one other bracelet. And then the Russian doll, because I went to Russia in 2011. 2011, yes. And another one of these Muranos that wasn't available in the States. What is up with my nails? I have stuff under them and it's not coming out. I was doing some, oh, I know what it is. It's the makeup. Right, because I'm not a make, makeup person, really. And then there's this charm. I don't know how they do it now, but I know back then, like, oh gosh, I hope it focuses right. See those, those are actual diamonds set in gold on the silver charm. They did that um, back then. I don't think they do it anymore. I think now if you get something, it's like cubic zirconia or whatever. And then this used to be a prettier pink, but over the years, it's Murano glass, but it, it's not as pretty now. And then the hearts, and then of course the clip. And that's one bracelet right there. And this is gonna be an extra long video if I go through everything, because I'm already seeing that we're at quite a few times. So let's see if we can rush through. All right, so the problem with rushing through, though, is the focusing of this thing. Uh, so we've got peacock, peacock, diamonds in that one, right? Gold with the silver, um, heart enamel, fairy, Murano. What's this one? It's like flowers. I think I got that for Valentine's Day from Johnny. And then pink again. Oh, this one I definitely got for Valentine's Day from Johnny with the crowns that are gold. And then flowers. This is one of those, I think, that Pandora shine business, I think. And then the mask, I think it's sad on one side and sad on one side and happy on the other. How does it go? Yeah. And then cupcake, because I love cupcakes. And a treasure chest. Another Pandora Shine, I think. And an apple because I'm a teacher. Well, I'm a lecturer, but you know, we, t we accept apples too. And a pearl. And of course, a clip. Okay, how did I do with that one? I think I took like two minutes. I don't think I can go through them all, guys. All right, another cupcake. This is the first cupcake ever. Pink and green Murano. And airplane, because I'm always on a plane. The teacup. And what is that one? Some stars. Oh, each of my bracelet has a star on it because I think I'm a superstar. And I need to manifest that, right? And then here we go. Palm trees because that's where I live. Coconut trees, right? The bell. You know, Pandora made it as a wedding bell, but it has a diff different significance for me here in Jamaica. Um... The frog, let's see, frog, diamonds on that one, green and pink again, suitcase because I'm always on the move, oh, more stars, but this one has a gold one on it, you can't really see, car, where are we at, car, green charm, another apple, this one has a worm in it, a house, and a seashell, and the clip. Am I doing better? Am I going faster? <laughs> this is so hard. Okay. I'm the biggest cheerleader you'll meet. And here goes stars in the heart. And heart of my chest. Can you see that? Heart of my chest. There we go. Clover. All this good luck stuff. Green. This is a totally green bracelet, I think. Another four leaf clover. And then this one's a locket, guys. This one you can actually open. Oh, where is it? What's inside? What's inside? 
oh there's a ring inside i think i got this when i got engaged and frog prince king something i collect frogs remember so there you go um jamaica football and brazil i went to brazil in 2012 oh all right here we go another green let's go for another green pumpkin pumpkin halloween's my favorite holiday there's a ghost as well what's this this is oh this is the princess and the pea so the crown on it is gold and so is the pea in there and then the horseshoe for luck. This one is peridot, so it's green stones in the gold, right? And it's real gold. Real gold dragonflies in the silver. Can you see it? Uh, I had on a brass wing earlier. It turned my finger green. <laughs> oh, fitting. Uh, more green charms. The dice from Vegas camera because I'm always taking pictures. I was a model. Right. My back is starting to hurt, guys. Alright. Let's see if we can get through it. Like, should I just skip to the gold? I have one more pinky ready one that I didn't show you. Right, 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 right. I'm just going to show you close up. The bus in London because I'm always in London. All of these, all of these, all of these. If you want to see anything else closer, just tell me in the comments below and I'll make sure to do it in a follow-up video. Actually, my next video when I show you the other thing that couldn't fit in this video or I didn't get for this video, just I'll just do a recap. Well, not a recap. I'll just fill in the blanks for the things you'd want to see. Now, this is my gold bracelet. I'm skipping all the black and white. So, I have three black and white bracelets. Let me just show you those really fast. Right? Okay. So, the gold one now, when I just started doing the bracelets, I would put a minimum of two gold charms on each bracelet. Um, but then, I decided at some point that, you know, sometimes you want to wear gold by itself, and uh, I should just probably do a gold bracelet to see how much, you know, how much I could do based on the charms I already had. So I did not go out and buy any charms for this bracelet. These charms already existed and I just rearranged all the bracelets in order to end up getting this, making this bracelet. So, um, I'm gonna close up. Now this is one of my earlier bracelets which has a gold clasp but it's on a silver bracelet. Now I figured that this, the gold, all gold bracelet was way, 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 way more money um, than the silver and even this one that had the gold clasp and the silver bracelet. So instead of buying a gold bracelet, um, the charms hide the, the bracelet itself anyway. So why not just get the gold clasp so that there's no real change in, in the, you know, in how it looks. So that's what I did. So this the bracelet itself is silver right but it has a gold clasp and here is the bracelet just showing you a slow-mo of all the charms on it and i hardly wear this bracelet and it's such a shame because the charms all mean something or were bought at specific times and um and it really is a beautiful bracelet on. Let me, let me put it on so you can see. Um, right? Yeah, so it really is gorgeous. But I really do hardly wear it. I think I'll keep it on now though. It's very nice. But you know, I used to wear 1-1 one, one Pandora. And then, you know, at some point I decided more was more and then I would wear like four or five at once and then I 
cut it back down to three, which is why you see that I have three black and whites, three pinks, and three greens. Um, so I just do three each time. And then if I wanted to add in this one, I would. And then maybe I'd add in, by then I was, I think I started my business, so then I would add in one of my original arm candy bracelets. And now I only wear the original arm candy bracelets and I don't wear enough Pandora. Some well, Every once in a while I'll add it to my stack or something and I'll make it interesting. But, you know, I do have them so that whenever I decide again that I love them enough to wear them. I mean, I wear them from time to time, but I used to wear them all the time. Um, what I will admit to is that they are very, very heavy when you wear them stacked up. Um, but who cares? Not me. Um, if my shoulder's in pain, it's only in pain for that day. And, you know, I looked cute and I liked what was on my wrist. I don't know. But anyhow, tell me what you wear. What is, what's in your stack of bracelets? You know, I mean, I even have like troll beads. I never showed you this one. I didn't get to that one. It's another charm bracelet. I was always into bracelets. I've always been into jewelry. Um, so tell me what you're wearing on yours um, and show me if you can. Like, I mean, if you want to tag me in a video or anything like that, I would be so happy to see. Um, and if you post them on Instagram and want to tag me, that's cool too. Um, but go ahead and, uh, and, and let me know in the comments, like what do you, which bracelet of mine did you like the most? Which charm did you think was the most interesting? Is there anything that you wanted to see more of or wanted more of a backstory on that I didn't provide? Please let me know. I can always just chat with you in the comments. That's what the conversation is about. Or I can do another video if I think that it's enough that will take up enough time. Um, so let me know. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else would, please share it. And please start the conversation down below. And please subscribe if you've come back here more than once. And, um, and you know, turn on the bell if you want to be notified or to be notified when I put up new videos. Thanks so much for having a closet conversation with me this week, guys. Thanks and have a great week.